Right now, Caitlin Lowry is the teen mom with the most children. Chelsea Houska will catch up in a few months after she has her baby, but for now, Caitlin is the only cast member with four children. She's got Isaac, who she shares with Joe Rivera, Lincoln, who she shares with Javi Marroquin, and then she had Lux and the brand new baby with Chris Lopez. It sounds like a lot, right? Many people would struggle with four kids, even without the logistics of having multiple exes to co-parent with. But Kaylin is over here talking about having another kid. Can you imagine? Kaylin, where do we even start with this? Kaylin has four kids, as we said. Isaac Lynn Golden Lux and a new baby boy who was just born on July 30th. Her relationships with Joe and Javi seem to be just fine right now, but her relationship with Chris is literally always a mess, despite the fact that their second child was just born last week. They first started hooking up when she was still married to Javi, he had another girlfriend while she was pregnant with Lux, and right around the time she got pregnant with the new baby, she got an order of protection against him after he was arrested. She's previously claimed that he's been violent, claiming that he broke a window in her bedroom after Lux was born and that he broke into her home around the same time. And just last month she accused him of choking her and implied that's why she got the PFA last year. Despite all of that, Kaylin has said that Chris is the only guy she's ever really loved, and she still seems stuck on him, but more on that in a bit. So yeah, lots of toxicity between Kaylin and Chris, but still they now have two children together after the unnamed baby boy was born last week. Kaylin hasn't said too much about the baby yet. She did say that she had a home birth and that everything went smoothly. She also shared his weight and length and that he still didn't have a name. But if you wanted to know more, you're in luck, because she just did a Q&A on Instagram. The first question was about the placenta drink she shared the other day. She said that it tasted fine and not like human organs, which is cool. About the home birth, she said that it was an experience I'm very thankful for, and she revealed that she'll talk all about it on the next episode of her podcast. Someone asked her which birth was the easiest, and she said Lux was the easiest and quickest. For the next question, she actually shared a photo of the baby. She did it to show that even though the baby has the same set of parents as Lux, they really don't look alike so far. As she put it, this baby is literally the complete opposite of Lux. The next answer had more baby action, and she told us that the new baby weighed the most at birth out of all of her kids. Lincoln came in second at 8 pounds and 6 ounces, while this baby was 8 pounds and 15 ounces. Someone asked if she's been on her own in caring for her newborn, and she said that her platonic female friend is helping her, so that's nice. One of her followers noticed that she hasn't shared a good photo of the baby's face yet and asked her about it. She answered that, honestly, he has some swelling still and his eye is bruised from delivery, so once all that subsides, I will. About having a home birth for the first time, she said, everything was on my terms, what my body was telling me to do. I wasn't connected to a bed, I didn't have to prevent myself from pushing when I felt I had to, didn't have to push when my body didn't have the urge, I controlled everything. This one takes a bit of a turn. Apparently she mentioned honey at some point and someone asked why, and she said it was for my diapers because it's good for the cat emoji and antimicrobial. Wearing diaper type undergarments is completely normal after a given birth, but plopping a bunch of honey in them… okay. One person didn't ask a question, they just wrote, that's not Chris' baby, and along with another little glimpse at the new little guy, she wrote, you can pay for the paternity test if you would like me to prove it. In one post, she listed how long she was in labor with each of her children, because usually it takes less time with each pregnancy. That wasn't the case for her, though. She said it only took about 90 minutes for Lux to be born, but this new kid took 9 hours. Finally, and this is the really interesting one, a follower asked if she had a doula present during the birth. Her answer, I did not have a doula, next time. Yup, Kaylin gave birth to her fourth child literally last week and she's already talking about having another baby. And judging by some other posts, she may be wanting Chris to be the father of her next child too. 
After sharing all the Q&A stuff, she shared this little image about how without her he's empty, without him she's heartless. Which could be about anything, but right around the time she posted that, Chris posted this photo of Lux and the new baby. So are they back on good terms? Is she all dopey from the hormones and dreaming of having a real family with him, despite everything that's happened? We don't know what her plans are, obviously, but when you put all of this together, it really does seem like she's wanting another baby with Chris, right? After all, she has said plenty of times that she could definitely see herself having one or two more babies, and she's also mentioned that she'd want to have multiple babies with Chris, even if he just acted as a sperm donor. Honestly, at this point, would any of us really be surprised if she and Chris have another baby? Of course not, we'd be much more surprised if she actually ended things with him for good. Whatever is going on right now, and whatever happens in the future, we hope that all these kids are happy and loved. Because goodness, it's exhausting just hearing about all of this, isn't it? That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.